Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn how to perform any changes to the regions in the computational model, specifically renaming and merging zones using the manage zones task after generating the volume mesh. We will dig into the working details of the different operations in the task and understand the user inputs required. Let's get started. The focus of this lesson is on the manage zones task that can be added to the watertight geometry workflow after completing the volume mesh generation. Using this task, the user can change the prefix or the names of the zones in the computational model in addition to being able to merge the zones if required. This is very useful especially when the model consists of a large number of zones. Let us use a demo problem to understand the various operations that can be done through this task. Launch ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode. Go to File, Read and select Mesh and then pick the provided mesh file. Once Fluent finishes reading the file, you will notice that the watertight geometry workflow has been automatically set up and all the tasks till the generate the volume mesh task have already been successfully completed. This is because the volume mesh that we just imported into Fluent has originally been created using the watertight workflow. Such files when read back into Fluent retain the information regarding their workflow. The model we have here is that of a generic ball or check valve which consists of one solid region that is the pipe geometry and three fluid regions that is the inlet pipe region, the valve region, the outlet pipe region. The ball valve is considered as a void in the model. To add the manage zones task to the workflow, right click on the generate the volume mesh task, select insert new task and click on manage zones. In the manage zones task, the user is prompted with a bunch of inputs. The first input is the type where the user can select the type of objects to manage either the cell zones that is the regions or the phase zones that is the boundaries. The user can also select body labels if the imported CAD geometry consists of bodies with multiple body labels. Based on this selection, a list of zones is populated in the space here. The next two inputs which act more like filters also depend on the type selection. If the type is set to cell zones, the user can filter the list of zones by their type that is fluids, solids are all zones using the type filter input. By default, it is set to all. With the help of the volume filter, the user can further filter the cell zones list to display only those zones that have a volume which is either less than or more than or equal to the user specified volume threshold. By default, it is also set to all. Similarly, when the type is set to phase zones, a list of boundary zones appears in the space here. The user can filter this list based on the type of the boundary zones such as fluid fluid, fluid solid or other using the type filter and further filter the zone to display only those zones that have a surface area which is either less than or more than or equal to the user specified area threshold. For our demo, we will set the type to phase zones and leave type filter and area filter inputs to the default values. Now, let us understand the different operations that the user can perform in this task. The first one is the change prefix. With the help of this operation, the user can quickly change the prefix of the zones. To perform this operation, select the zones for which the prefix need to be changed. 
set the operation to change prefix, which is the default setting. Enter the existing prefix of the selected zones here in this field and then enter the new prefix in the field here. Click on Manage Zones to execute the operation. Note that if the selected zones have different prefix, this operation will fail when executed. Similarly, to rename the zone, set the operation to rename. Select the zone, enter a new name in the field and execute the task. Finally, to merge the phase zones, set the operation to merge, select the zones to be merged and enter the preferred name of the merged zone in the name field and execute the task. Note that if the boundary zones of different types are merged, they will be separated when switching to solution mode. All the executed operations are recorded as subtasks under the Manage Zones task and can be used to revert and edit if required. All these operations, that is, changing the prefix, renaming and merging the zones can also be performed for the cell zones in a similar fashion. If the cell zones are adjacent to each other, it is also possible to merge the neighboring faces in addition to merging the cell zones by turning on the Merge Adjacent Faces option to Yes, which is also the default. However, note that if the cell zones are not adjacent to each other, these cell zones can still be merged, but the adjacent faces cannot be merged and hence the merge adjacent faces should be set to no in order to successfully complete the operation. Let's summarize what we learned. We understood how to use the Manage Zones task to perform the changes to the zones in the computational model after generating the volume mesh. We specifically saw how to change the prefix, rename and merge zones and discussed their limitations. With that, let's end this lesson.